Hey guys, so in my last video I already talked about the spectral wolf minions and how in my opinion they are much better than I expected and I think many others also think that they are kind of bad and niche but they are definitely good or maybe it was just my version the physical pure physical is only good I, I'm not too sure but there's something weird with path of building I think their damage is a lot higher than the path of building says so like I said in the last video I talked about like a cheap version of the build and now I just put on the square literally just changed the shield into the square and in this video I want to just I guess showcase how much damage we are doing with the square but do not think that this is the power of the square you cannot make like a, a horrible minions into insane minions just with the square um, and also for comparison in the last video the shield that I had was did not give any damage no necromantic ages, no power or frenzy charges for minions, no specters, no cannon golem, just basically just wolves. Well, I do have Herald of Purity, but they are not very strong. So, I didn't do a lot of bossing, I kind of did uh, once or twice uh, some bosses and I tried Cirrus, I tried Maven, but I rage quit those fights, I really need a break from PUE. So, this is actually gonna be my last build video this league. And I think it's kind of fitting that I'm ending the league with the final build, which is using wolves. Uh, and also, this is probably my strongest minion build ever, or at least damage-wise. Without a, the square, like I said, you could use the different shield with necromantic aegis to give the frenzy power charges, or just use Victoria Char Charity without necromantic aegis and generate, the, what was it, power charges for them, which would uh, boost their damage a bit more, and you wouldn't lose the, all the block and... Um, all the tankness essentially but uh, there are many ways to improve the build without a square shield so i guess the best showcase of the dps of these wolves is going to be this drox fight uh go into the fight i have 10 wolves max and then um like half a second later get enough impale stacks and then we do big damage so the first bite th that we did well uh, we are actually using just default attack i just call it bite because the animation we do a bit lower damage and then the damage quickly ramps up. So, yeah, as you can see, the damage is amazing. And if I ask you, uh, how much damage do you think we are doing? What What is their DPS? You would probably assume it's like 10 million DPS, over 10 million DPS. In Path of Building, it shows below 5 million DPS. Is that below 5 million DPS? I don't think so. That, to me, looks more than 5 million DPS. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> so... I'm not sure what's up with Path of Building, maybe it's incorrect, maybe maybe it has correct numbers but they are, the wolves are doing more damage for some reason in, in game. The next league, I definitely want to revisit this build, maybe even as a league starter because without the squad obviously. It's pretty cheap to start but it does take quite, quite a bit of min-maxing to activate all the auras, uh, like I need Owl Surprising. You know what, let's just go over my items. The Buddy Armor, I, I bought it for 5x I think. Uh, extra additional course, crit chance, I think I don't even need the extra crit chance, the base crit chance. So just get extra additional course and if possible increase the effect of non course auras from your skills. Getting enough dexterity and intelligence was a bit challenging but I somehow managed it. Now the helmet is also could be, could be better, whether I need, I just needed the increased mana reservation efficiency of skills. So. I, so I couldn't really use Elder's Helmet. Well, I, I guess you can, but then use Essence Grab, but then it uses one of the suffixes, I believe. And I really needed enough um, resistances. But then you need All Surprising to add Pride for free, basically. Does give a lot of damage, and you like, what else do you get on Amulet? There's not much else you can get on Amulet that would give damage to your minions, because you cannot get plus one to Wolves uh, levels, because we are locked at level 25. So rings, just attributes, resistances, and uh, minus mana cost for the cyclone. I do have also one jewel. Like my cyclone costs two mana. If I if I'm not hitting anything, I would eventually uh, run out of mana. Especially because I also need to trigger assassin's mark. Uh, I'm also casting what convocation uh, and flame dash. So I would end up running out of mana. So I had to use one jewel with mana gain on hit, which doesn't add any damage to for minutes. Another ring I had to get Unset Ring to squeeze in the Flame Dash. Again, Resistance is life. Uh, these gloves, like I said, are amazing. They almost double my DPS because it just shreds enemy armor completely all the way to zero uh, and evasion as well. So once once that happens, you essentially start 
getting frenzy and power uh, sorry frenzy and enduring charges for yourself uh darkness and prone as always for the minions the jewels are not the best i just reused the jewels from the previous build but getting enough dexterity like could be a challenge so getting dex on jewels can be very nice in here the gloves uh sorry the, bo the boost brittle ground boost essentially with nothing else special just resistances attributes if you need uh the cyclone i end up linking with uh Impale because I need 100% impale chance for myself to apply 8 impales, then the grid damage support, uh, hex touch, punishment, and uh, life gain on a hit. Diversion gives also mana on hit. Uh, then we have, let's go over our aura. So, held up purity in the helmet. You don't need plus 3 minion helmet, but I just got lucky and, and so I placed held up purity in here. Otherwise, I guess you would place Karen Golem or like, I don't know if you would want to use Animate Garden. This doesn't really have a lot of minion tankiness. I don't really need minion tankiness. I just do big damage and also I heal them when I crit. So it's fine. I decided to link Herald of Purity with Feeding Frenzy so I don't need to worry about resummoning Karen Golem. I just completely removed Karen Golem because, well, first of all, I don't have room for that. And second, I don't want to worry about it. Uh, so this is also Precision. Precision was the last order that I added just for increased accuracy. Accuracy doesn't really matter all that much, but. Uh, Increased critical strike chance is actually a pretty big deal for, for my minions and for me as well because I don't really have a lot of increased to crit chance. Uh, and also anomalous convocation to give them movement speed after using convocation. Uh, next I got assassin's mark with uh, mark on the head. Uh, then there's also anomalous flash. Well, actually it doesn't need to be anomalous but it just gives a bit more armor and evasion. Uh, with the anomalous maim. Anomalous maim just increases the maim effect a bit. Because I have all sorts of uh, aura effect increase or effect i think it is boosting the anomalous uh, or, or in general flesh and stone quite a bit so that maim is actually very strong because of all the other stuff that, that i have uh i have val haste as well pride a tempest shield and dread banner don't really need anomalous just for a bit of extra tankiness i guess uh then the main support gems for the wolves um if you if you're not running squire you're gonna want impale Anomalous Impale to reach 100% Impale chance. And there's Blaine. Later. So if you're, if you're not using the Squire, you're gonna want Anomalous Impale to reach 100% Impale chance. Then uh, Predator's Mark, Divergent gives them crit chance and crit multi, very nice. And then you're gonna be running with Melee Splash, which when you're gonna be swapping, I would recommend to swap into Brutality, not Multi Strike. Multi Strike sometimes makes it a bit weird when they get like locked into one spot if enemy moves, keep trying to hit the air. I don't know, I, I personally don't really like Multi Strike all that much. Uh, but uh, you would place replace Melee Splash with the Brutality, I guess. Uh, and if you rank the squire, in the squire you're gonna want to play gems that uh, benefit mostly from the quality, but it's only extra 8% quality, so it's not a big deal. So then I got Divergent Behead, it doesn't have to be Divergent, but Behead just adds a lot of damage against enemies on low life, they can also steal buffs. Sometimes it's not very reliable and also gets a bit more melee strike range. Then obviously running many splash, which then I swap for multi strike for the big bosses, brutality and uh, critical damage. And this is level 90. I can still get 15% extra increased life, so I would get close to almost 6k life, and it would feel a lot tankier. Well, I would imagine it would feel tankier, but all you have to do is do do damage before enemies do damage to you essentially. <laughs> so I don't want to make this video too long. I Guess I'm gonna include I'm gonna include Path of Building in port code in the description as always, but it's basically the same as uh, if you if you saw my previous video, it's basically the same, just swapping the Squire Shield, and I may have swapped uh, some support gems um, some places. If you got any questions, do not ask them. I will not be answering any questions about PV anymore. I really need a break. I, I am getting so annoyed by everything PV related now. When it comes to PUE, we still got 23 days until the new league launch, but around around two weeks until the new league announcement. In those two weeks, I guess I'm going to be doing videos about some other games, but 
the content is gonna be slower on on youtube i'm gonna still try to stream some other games i got some couple of games that i want to revisit but that's probably gonna kill time for like one week only <laughs> i'm not sure if you got any like um game suggestions that you would want me to make a video about or just steam just don't ask about elden ring i don't have good gpu i still i still cannot get my hands on a new gpu so i cannot really stream or, or play elden ring but i would love to play elden ring someday so yeah i guess for now thank you for watching and i will see you in the in the future <laughs> bye bye